Mr. Beast is the most watched person on the planet, accumulating hundreds of millions of views on YouTube every week. So it might shock you that Jimmy recently admitted that he struggles to secure brand deals and sponsorships. It's like harder and harder to find brand deals uh, for us to keep up with the pace. Like the amount of money people are willing to pay has stalled even though the views are skyrocketing. Like there's only so much money brands are willing to spend on a, a video. Yeah, so in summary, Jimmy has become a victim of his own success. He has become so popular and gets so many views that brands can't afford to pay the market rates his level of viewership would demand. Except, it's kind of bull. Because if brands and advertisers got incredible results from sponsoring Jimmy's videos, they pay whatever it costs, which stands to reason then that his content just isn't getting advertisers results. And a major reason why is Jimmy often uses the wrong language patterns when he is doing the ad reads in his videos. And if he fixed that, he'd see way more people taking the action he wants them to take. And in turn, advertisers would be getting much better results and be more willing to pay him lots of money. Okay, now you probably have no idea what I'm talking about when I say he uses the wrong language patterns. So let me explain. When your goal is to get a human being to take some kind of action, whether that's to click the like button, subscribe, click a link in the description, or sign up for a free trial, the words you use and the order you use those words heavily influences whether or not the person will actually take that action. And this is all rooted in science. In 1978, an experiment was conducted by Harvard University where the researchers had people request to cut in line to use a busy copy machine on a college campus. The researchers had people use three different specifically worded requests to break in line. Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine? Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I have to make copies? Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I'm in a rush? Here were the results. Using the word because and then giving a reason resulted in significantly more people saying yes. This was true even though the reason was not very compelling or detailed in that initial experiment. Now, this example might seem super obvious to you. Of course, using the word because is going to make it more likely someone lets you skip line. And that's why I showed you this one first. Because... It's obvious. There are lots more less obvious, very subtle things you can say or do to tremendously increase compliance. Things you've never thought of or realized before that work just like this obvious example. So I'm going to show you clips of real things Jimmy said in his videos and then explain what he should have said instead for him to get more people to take the action he wanted. And I've recruited help for this video. Today I'll be joined by Jason Fladlin, one of the world's foremost experts on language patterns, psychological influence, marketing, and sales. He's personally responsible for over half a billion dollars in sales online. He's a genius and a good friend of mine, and I'm gonna kick it over to him now. All right, we're gonna start off with Jimmy's frequent use of the phrase, if you. Let's take a look at an example. Anyway, go to drinkcircle.com slash MrBeast or scan the QR code on his face if you wanna order a circle right now. Now, it's generally not a good idea to be promoting something and tell the audience they can buy it if they want to. If you want to does not persuade the viewer to take action. It simply offers a choice. Phrases like if you want to, they're passive forms of language and you should never use passive language when making a call to action. Instead, you wanna use active language, which is more assertive, urgent, and focuses on the benefits and transformations to the listener so they are more likely to take action. Now, it's possible Jimmy is intentionally using passive language here because he doesn't wanna come across as too pushy. And that's totally fine. So so long as he understands he is actively tanking the results of his ads by doing it. Luckily, we can come up with some better ways to rephrase it that uses active language and doesn't also sound pushy. For instance, he could simply say instead, scan the QR code of his face to order your circle right now. Or even better, he could focus on the benefits for a really effective call to action like this. Order your circle now by scanning the QR code on his face so you start drinking more water every day 
two. And not only does this version focus on the benefit of drinking more water, it also uses the word two. And that does a lot of heavy lifting here. It insinuates that Jimmy has been successfully using Circle to drink more water, which creates social proof. Social proof, by the way, is a principle of psychology that suggests people are more likely to adopt behaviors, follow trends, and make decisions based on the actions and behaviors of others around them, particularly people that they admire. And of course, everybody who watches Jimmy practically admires him. Okay, like I said earlier, Jimmy frequently makes the same mistake in many of his ad reads. Let's quickly fix a few more. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. Click the link in the description to play Immortals of Avium right now. And they have a metal double insulated bottle that you could get for free right now if you buy 10 flavor cartridges. That you can get free when you buy 10 flavor cartridges right now. All right, now there's another thing Jamie says all the time during his ad reads that is not only hurting the brands that he is promoting, but it is hurting his reputation too. And it's the word honestly. Here, take a look. It honestly adds so much flavor, I can't even tell it's sink water. When you use the word honestly in a sentence like this, it implies that you have been dishonest about things prior to it. And I know it's subtle and many viewers don't notice it consciously, but subconsciously they're aware of it. And that makes them skeptical about the things that you say and claim. Jimmy should immediately eliminate using the word in this way. And not just him, but his cast does it a lot as well. It's even worse when they do it, by the way. Dude, honestly, this is better than all the other ones. It's honestly way better than the old formula. I'm gonna tell you honestly what I think. In all the clips, it was cast members and guests all pretty much admitting that they had lied about good Feastable products were before, but this time, yeah, trust them, it will be different. At least that's how people are gonna feel in their bodies and brains and interpret it when they hear it. So. Jimmy, knock that off. Okay, now let's rapid fire through a few more really quick. I'm gonna tell you guys about T-Mobile. I'm gonna tell you guys about Top Troops. I'm gonna tell you guys about Summer Goods. Jimmy has a habit of saying you guys when referring to the audience. You should always speak to the personal individual, not the impersonal crowd. It's more effective and it converts better as well. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. Now, phrases like don't worry are very dangerous. It tells somebody not to do something, but they first have to picture themselves worrying before they decide not to. So you can replace the phrase, don't worry with things like rest assured. Tell people the emotion you want them to feel. Don't tell them the emotion you don't want them to feel. I wanna urge you all to go to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells or click the link in the description and donate money if possible. This call to action is for a great cause. So let's make it less passive since it uses the phrase if possible and enhance it by tugging on the emotions of the viewer. Something like you could save a life for just a few dollars by going to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells to donate right now. All right, so as we've seen over all these examples, you're starting to realize what you say and how you say matters. While subtle, the language patterns that we use accumulate over the course of a video and can make a huge impact on the viewer by the end of the video. Now I'm gonna send it back over to Dylan where he's going to tell you in just a second how you can win $10,000 just because you watched this video. I told you Jason was a genius. We've known each other for a long time and he's one of the greatest marketers in the world. In the description, I've posted a bunch of links to Jason's content so you can learn more from him. Now in true Mr. Beast fashion, I'm giving away some money in this video. You see, Mr. Beast videos get a lot of views and they reach a lot of people. And that means if improving his language patterns in his ads increased his conversions just 1% or 2%, it could mean tens of thousands more sales for whatever he's promoting. And that's huge. So here's the deal. I think Jimmy and his team really need to see this video so they can start making improvements to their content. If you can get this video to Jimmy and prove to me that he watched it, I'll give you this ten thousand dollars maybe maybe not this like physical ten thousand dollars it's i'll it's probably paypal i'll send paypal or whatever terms and conditions for this contest are in the description there can only be one winner so you better get a move on <coughs>